In this video, we are going to discuss microwave transmissions. Microwave transmissions are mainly used for unicast uh, oriented communications. So, let us go for the details for at first. Microwaves are used for unicast communications such as cellular telephones, satellite networks and the wireless lands. So, microwaves can be categorized as terrestrial microwave and the satellite microwave. So, let us go for this microwave category wise one by one. So, at first we are st starting with the terrestrial microwaves. The most common type of microwave antenna is the parabolic also known as the dish antenna. A typical size is about 3 meter in diameter. The antenna is fixed rigidly and focuses a narrow beam to achieve line of sight transmission to the receiving antenna. So, line of sight transmission means where both the sending and the receiving both the antennas will be facing each other. The primary use for terrestrial microwave system is in long haul telecommunications service as an alternative to coaxial cable or say optical fiber. It can be used as for short point to point links between the buildings. This can be used for closed circuit TV or as a data link between local area networks. So, these are the different usages where this particular terrestrial microwaves can be used. As with any transmission system, a main source of loss is attenuation. So, whenever we are having some transmission system due to the during the progress or during the transmission along with the distance, the strength of the signal will get decreased and this is known as attenuation. For microwave and the radio frequencies, the loss can be expressed in this particular form. It is a very famous one. Different questions might be coming, numerical problems can be coming on this very formula that is loss is equal to 10 log of 4 pi t by lambda whole square db. It will be expressed in decibel. So, where d is the distance, lambda is the wavelength in the same units. Remember this one, this d and the lambda should be in the same units. So, what is the expression? Loss is equal to 10 log 4 pi t by lambda whole square db. So, that is the respective equation for the attenuation loss. So, now we are going for the satellite microwaves. A communication satellite works as a relay station between two or more ground based microwave transmitters or receivers also known as earth stations or ground st stations through transmissions on one frequency band for the uplink amplifies or repeats the signal and transmit it onto the another frequency that is known as the downlink. So, what how this particular satellite that is our satellite microbes will be doing the communication between two art stations or ground stations. So, one there will be one uplink frequency and that frequency will be the frequency for the signal which will be going from art stations to the respective satellite and then at that particular satellite it will be amplified and or it will be repeated and the repeated signal will be coming to the art station back again in another art station back again in another frequency known as the down link frequency. So, just consider this one this is our art station from where this is this is the communication this is the uplink frequency we have given this arrow and here at this particular satellite either either it will repeat it or it will amplify the respective uh, the energy whatever it has received and then this microwave will be amplified or it will be repeated in another frequency known as a downlink frequency. So, in this way this art station with the help of this satellite antenna it will be communicating with another art station or the ground station. So, that is known as a point to point link. But in case of broadcast link what will happen we are having multiple receivers we are having multiple receivers there. So, here we are having one transmitter. So, this is the transmitter multiple receivers here multiple receivers are there. So, this particular transmitted information will be broadcasted onto the multiple receivers and that is satellite uh, antenna is there and here we are having one uplink frequency and one downlink frequency for these art stations. 
Now let us go for the applications of satellite microwaves. The following are among the most important applications for satellite. The first one is the television distribution, long distance telephone transmission, private business networks and global positioning that is very important. So in this way, in this particular video, we have discussed that what is a microwave and what are the different types of microwaves we are going to have and what are their respective applications. Thanks for watching this video. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.